The following presentation of the Monty Mans Meditorials is brought to you by Kurt and Debbie Palmer, Roger McDermott and KHLT Recovery Broadcasting. To subscribe to this as well as any of our recovery shows, visit our website at take12radio.com. And now, here's the Monty Man with this week's Meditorial. Well, greetings, my friends, and welcome to this episode of the Monty Man's Meditorial. I'm your host, the Monty Man. This meditorial I've entitled Misunderstandings. Well, this definition comes from career foresight coaching. A misunderstanding occurs when a communication attempt is unsuccessful because what the speaker intends to express differs from what the hearer believes to have been expressed. (laughs) Listen, misunderstandings take place on a two-way street. So often when we feel misunderstood, it creates feelings of isolation. We tend to retreat because we feel unknown or unseen. That may feel like the safe option, but it won't heal the misunderstanding. To resolve a misunderstanding requires both parties to reconcile the differences between what was intended and what was perceived to have taken place. Now, according to career foresight coaching, there are two main types of misunderstandings. The first one, the speaker is not aware that they are being misunderstood. And the second, the listener is unaware that they are not understanding what was intended. You see, the road does go both ways when it comes to misunderstanding. So let me ask you this. Have you ever heard someone say, I'm sorry if you took it the wrong way? Or perhaps you've heard them say, I'm sorry you were offended by what I said. Or, I'm not responsible for how you feel about what I said or did. (laughs) Well, it seems to be a popular trend these days to place the burden of understanding on the listener. But is a misunderstanding something that belongs to the listener or audience alone? Or are both the speaker and listener responsible? According to the above definition, the answer is that both parties play a role. Both the speaker and the listener in a conversation are responsible for true understanding that occurs. Well, recently I found myself in just such a situation. In the initial discussion, I will admit that in my attempt to share my thoughts on the topic being discussed, I was clumsy and not communicating well. This brought the listener to a place that I personally felt he misunderstood what I was attempting to share. But when I suggested that there was a misunderstanding, it was met with the comment, no misunderstanding here. And he continued to let me know how I had wronged him. At that point, it became obvious that any attempt to explain myself was falling on deaf ears and it was time to back off and let the dust settle before re-engaging. In the end, the issue was never resolved And what was a simple misunderstanding turned into a friendship dissolved. The truth is, not all misunderstandings are going to end up in resolution. And that is when we get to practice emotional sobriety. Though these events can be painful, they need not knock us off our emotional center of gravity. We can and do rise above it and move forward always willing to re-engage in a positive manner if the opportunity ever presents itself. It's something to think about. All right, our closing song for this meditorial is amazingly appropriate for this topic. It's all about misunderstanding. It's all about love. Here's Jerry Vandiver with his song, The Heel of the Bread. Thursday nights Betty made a roast Lester would buy a warm loaf From the bakery 
after work at five. Betty set the china plates. Lester said the nightly grace and carved the meat and bread with pride. And then he'd pass the heel along to her. Because she loved him, she choked it down without a word. Ain't it funny how we let our feelings go unsaid? And the time we lose when intentions are misread. And ain't it sad how we misjudge so many signs of love? Like Lester and Betty and the heel of the bread. Twenty years of Thursday nights, and Betty somehow wore a smile and kept her protest quietly concealed. But one night after a long hard day. She threw that hated heel away, and with angry words, her resentment was revealed. Lester shook his head and said, "If I had known, I gave it to you 'cause it's the part I love the most." Ain't it funny how we let our feelings go unsaid, and the time we lose when intentions are misread? And ain't it sad how we misjudge so many signs of love, like Lester and Betty and the heel of the bread? Like Lester and Betty, and the heel of the bread. The heel of the bread, Mr. Jerry Vandiver. Listen for more of Jerry's great music. Visit his website at jerryvandiver.com. All right. Listen, if you've enjoyed these meditorials, won't you let us know? We'd love to hear from you. Our email address is take12radio at comcast.net. And listen, don't forget to subscribe for fun or for free to all of our shows at take12radio.com on your internet dial by clicking on any of the podcasting platforms listed there. We have literally thousands of recovery-focused shows that we've put together for you over the last 20 years. Until our next broadcast, this is the Monty Man, and I am wishing God's perfect serenity for you. This has been a broadcast of KHLT Recovery Broadcasting and the Take 12 Recovery Radio Shows.